Hello and welcome to another video of me showing a lot of stuff. <laughs> you maybe remember my uh, Coliro video about the card colors. I showed around every single one that was released until that day. So well, now we are like almost two years later and there are new ones. I haven't bought any since the big pack and they released a lot. I don't know all of my head how many I bought but it's a lot and it was expensive. <laughs> they are made in Germany, colors handmade, hand pressed. They say they have a high light fastness. I've never tested that before. Um, they're made with mica powder and Arabic, gum Arabic. Uh, nothing animal related is in them. And uh, they're also certified. You can use them for a lot of things like calligraphy. They're like, they're like watercolor, but can also, if you put a lot of water and not that hard to explain if you put a amount of water that makes them creamy you can also kind of make them opaque i personally uh, am in love with them and that is why without a doubt without thinking it for a second i bought them and you see how i'm unpacking every single one around 20. I'm a bit disappointed. Hear me out, hear me out. It's not that they made anything wrong. The color scheme is amazing. But as someone who loves color shift colors, there's only one color shift color on all of them. The rest are uh, glitter, new glitter that, that are really interesting, metal, um, creatures, met the metal one, uh, the moons, and yeah, you can choose a bonus one. I don't think that this video is going to take them to justice because they look so gorgeous in the right lighting, and my lighting is not good and will never be good. I do not have a studio. Just look at them. Oh, they look so good. It's almost every time sad that you have to destroy the texture. Oh, oh look at them. They look like candy and you can't eat them. I don't know what I should say as well. Like, the colors are so good. I, I sound like a fangirl. No, I am. This is so amazing! Ah, Medusa one is amazing. Oh god, I have no words. That is the worst part about this. I can just gush about the colors and they sound like I'm paid or something like that, but no. They are literally... They are literally my favorite watercolor in existence and they are not the effect colors like you know they are something you put on top you don't really really draw with them it's more like a detail thing like having an accent and i love that sadly i do not draw that much anymore um that is the uh, Color shift one, the only one, the first one. Yeah. This yellow golden one is uh, glitter, which means you need a bit more, a bit more uh, water. As you see, the first one it, on the white paper it's a reddish, and on the black paper it's a greenish. You can see the greenish blue color also on the white paper, but you have to shift it. That's why it's called color shift. It's not as prominent as some other colors they have, like especially the pearl ones, where you can only see the effect 
clearly on black paper. You can also see them on one uh, white paper, but it nah, doesn't matter. I think it's also on the black paper you can better see that they are opaque if you put enough water to wet them, but not enough to make them fluid, like, you know. They can really be rich and deep, and that is amazing, I love that. Um, all the ones with this geometric design are the constellation ones. They have moon names or star names uh, and they are, can also be bought in one set. Also like the creatures or the new richer colors. Every single set is available on their website. I will link it down below. They send worldwide as far as I know but as someone who is living in Germany and having this company kind of around the corner, it was uh, probably a bit cheaper than if you would say imported, right? This, I remember clearly, it's Basilisk, I mean the, that I put down right now, not the red, the Vermillion, but the left beside that. Be I remember that because on paper it is not color shift. In the tube it is color shift. I do not know how that happens, but it's really fascinating. The color separated into a red, toxic red, a toxic swamp red and a really nasty swamp green. It looks so good in the tube, but in the pan, uh, sorry, in the pan. But on the paper, it's a simple goldish green and it's okay. It's okay, it doesn't look bad. I mean, for the prices, I just say, please do not look bad, because if I do, there, you know, you just wasted a lot of money. But, yeah, it's an obsession with those colors, because I'm still looking for my perfect color shift, pearl, or whatever colors. I found some metallic for acrylics, but I need still my color shifts in America. There's a brand called Folk Art that is making color shift acrylics. You cannot find them in Germany. Or you import them for expensive amounts of money and no, I can't do that, sorry. So, I have an acrylic base and I use watercolor. So I have an acrylic. It's, it's a weird combination, but it works. So if you're out of a color and want to have a color, but only have the color in a different medium, Use a base for that. There's watercolor bases, there's acrylic bases. The, the watercolor is a bit more uh, hard to work with, but you have to work with the pigment to make this. But uh, don't listen to me. But if you want to make an acrylic out of it, it's super easy. Bases are basically... <laughs> you can basically buy them everywhere. This is also a color you see kind of... Not the black one. The besides the black one. It's a greenish reddish and also a bit of a color shift. Amazing. I'm sorry. Amazing. Also off screen I mark them with all the names. The number names, not the real names. And that is how I work with them. But if you want to know how big my collection is, please, please don't be afraid what is happening right now because this is every single pen that is on the market right now. Look at that. So, thank you very much for watching. I don't know if that helped you for any decision. I say if you have the chance to try them out or buy them, do that. Because they are amazing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video, whenever, whatever that will be. And I wish you the best day of your life. I'm staring at this now. And in... You see that? It's amazing. Have a nice day. Bye bye.